Hey, welcome back everyone, it's Crazy Walder, and I apologize for the long lack of no videos here and the state of my room currently, but uh, I've been dealing with a lot of stuff and uh, just been extremely busy. But this is what I've been working on, and uh, it may not look like much, but basically it is um, an Xbox Slim that I'm in progress um, on currently. Now, I've basically been kind of playing around with a bunch of different concepts and a bunch of different cases. Eventually I settled down on this Lee Ann Lee case. And the primary reason is that uh, it actually holds the Xbox One motherboard pretty darn well in place. Um, as you can see, most of the components fit in pretty well. Um, I've been toying around with the idea of different fans, um, as well as the liquid cooler, which is the Corsair H60, which you see to the left there, um, using a custom fan and also slightly a slightly custom, uh, basically, liquid output method as opposed to using the two nozzles out on the front. But ultimately, I don't know if I'm going to be going with the liquid cooling just because there's really no space in here for me to really do that and if I were to do it then um, in effect I would not be able to really mount anything else inside the case. Now I'm still kind of toying around with the idea of being able to just jettison the DVD drive or Blu-ray drive completely um, given that I don't really have a whole lot of space to work with in here. Uh, currently, I think the uh, the biggest issue is that there really just isn't enough space for the DVD drive or Blu-ray drive, um, so I may end up having it be external. But it's not really a big deal since a lot of the games nowadays are going to be basically download um, downloadable, and it's just not a big deal if you have a good internet connection. Uh, the other thing that I'm working on is trying to see if I can get the hard drive to be easily removable. Right now it kind of is, it only takes two screws to take the top off and uh, get to the hard drive and it's pretty easily to just take out of uh, the little holder that's basically keeping it in place right now. Um, the other thing is actually shorting and downing a bunch of wires and uh, moving this USB 3 port uh, which I've basically kind of mangled up quite severely. Um, the other big issue here right now is actually this guy, which just so happens to be the main board that controls the, um, the controllers and also the power button and eject button, so there's not really a whole lot of space for this guy in here, so I may end up having to figure out um, sort of exactly how to mount this or how to shrink it down. Um, so that's going to be kind of the next step here. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff that I'm really working on with this um, and trying to sort out currently. Basically, it looks pretty ugly. You know, there's a bunch of really crappy dremeling on the side here for where the ports are. Um, there's some really small kind of low, um, you know, low overhead standoffs for the motherboard itself so that it's not lying flat. And ultimately, I ended up putting some electrical tape on the inside of the case just in case I do end up lowering the motherboard more um, so that none of the connectors are actually touching the, the metal on it and shorting anything out. But that's kind of the status of this thing so far. Um, it's nowhere near ready, but uh, hopefully I'll get this up and running relatively quickly. Um, it all kind of depends on my time schedule right now. But so far, you know, it looks pretty slick. This case is really, really tiny. Um, if you compare it to the regular Xbox One, you know, where the, the regular Xbox One stands at about, like, yay tall from the ground, this is significantly lower, and it's also skinnier as well. So for me, the biggest concern is space, and so I kind of figured I'd just end up going ahead and doing this this project. And so far, you know, there's not a whole lot of clearance in this case. As you can see, there's really not a whole lot kind of going on here, not a whole lot of space to do much, not even fans, really. Um, so the current thing that I've ordered is actually kind of a laptop fan which would sit in here and blow the air out towards this way and the nice thing about this case is that not only do I have some spacing on this side but there's also vents to allow the air to just keep coming out now I'm probably gonna end up putting some kind of grill or filter over here in time there's just enough space for that basically but um, so far it's pretty well mounted um, you know given my very garbage machining skills and the lack of tools that I have. This was all basically dremeled out or drilled. Um, it's you know it's a pretty decent kind of alpha stage for this if it were a piece of software. I don't know what the hardware equivalent would be, 
but um, this is what it is so far and I'm pretty happy you know overall with the design I really like this Lian Lee HDPC case and um, ultimately I'll probably end up doing some some more videos that explain exactly what I've done but essentially you know if you end up doing the project the same way I have all you have to really do is just gut the Lian Lee case um, there's a couple of things like a hard drive holder which kind of sits in the back here and then you've got a bunch of different pieces for where the power supply would go and so on so all you really have to do is basically just take those out using screws and um, in the case of some of the screws that are in here by default you can just kind of basically give them a quick tap with a hammer and they just fall right through the case really simple stuff and then you just have to basically find some way to make the motherboard stick on there I prefer using the 3M high bonding tape it's uh, it's a very sticky tape that just kind of stays on fairly easy to actually take off the motherboard and of course if you're working on it I'm currently not touching the motherboard itself but if you are you know use gloves or use a grounding um, kind of method to get yourself to not shock any of the components with static electricity and that'll get you going um, so far I don't really have too many videos of the progress because the progress has been kind of intermittent and slow but um, I'll also do some videos on how I ended up preparing the liquid cooler if you do end up deciding to go the liquid cooling method but in this particular case, I don't really think that's viable without having, you know, at least the fan part of this sticking out um, of the case. Which, you know, if you want to do that, that's perfectly fine. There's no problem with that whatsoever. But um, for me, the aesthetic side of it is also kind of important. You know, I don't want this giant thing just kind of sticking out of my case um, and making everything look not as clean as it could be. So... I'm probably going to end up, again, just sort of ditch, ditching the uh, Blu-ray drive and sticking to the very small, uh, minuscule internals that I have going on here. And uh, ultimately, there's a bunch of videos on how many people have turned the Xbox One into an Xbox laptop. And you can check those out for more ideas on the kinds of fans to use and how to ultimately mount things the way you like. Um, so far, I'm pretty happy with the setup that I have here. Um, you know, there's still a lot more work to get done, and ultimately I'll keep posting more videos as I keep going. But uh, so far, you know, I, I think that it's turning out to be a pretty darn cool project. Um, you know, it's just something that I'm doing in my spare time right now. And ultimately, um, I'm actually going to have this kind of turned this way, with the, um, the power button being either here to kind of drill this out a little bit more and put it over here or somewhere on the side, and more of the controls kind of being in line with this because I really just don't think that I'll be putting a blu-ray drive in here anytime soon so that's the the project so far you guys and um, hopefully you like the video um, hopefully you know if you want to see more of this you know I'll be posting it pretty much regardless you don't really have a choice but uh, <laughs> you know this project is something I'm pretty passionate about because I just love tinkering around with electronics and whatnot and Space saving is pretty important for me in my house. I don't have a whole lot of room. Um, you know, my room's pretty tiny. So, for those of you guys that are looking at um, at getting something like this for for yourself, I'll post basically all of the um, the different hardware components that I got in the video description below, so you can get your own project started. And I'll keep you appraised as of what the progress that I made with this. So, hang in there, and I'll have more videos out for you guys soon. Take care until then.